Hold up. What if I told you Samsung's next Ultra phone might ditch the S Pen just to make room for a monster 7000 MOI battery? Yeah, that's just the start. Welcome back, viewers. James here. If you're into wild leaks, smart upgrades, and phones that bend the rules, like this video, share it, and subscribe for more tech drops you don't want to miss. Okay, the Galaxy S25 just launched, and boom, the S26 Ultra rumors are already going nuclear. Let's dive in. Samsung's prepping to unleash the Galaxy S26 Ultra in January 2026, but here's the twist. It's powered by Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, possibly dropping months earlier than expected. Why? Because MediaTek's cooking up a serious threat. The Dimensity 9500, that ship's built on TSMC's 3 nanometers process, and Qualcomm doesn't want to play catch-up. And speaking of fast moves, some insiders hint Samsung might break tradition and launch the S26 series as early as December 2025, stealing thunder from the iPhone 17 and scooping up holiday sales. Yep, pre-orders could open before the new year even hits. Now let's talk power. The S26 Ultra is rumored to feature overclocked Pegasus CPU cores hitting 5GHz, LPDDR6 RAM, and the beastly Adreno 840 GPU. That's a 25% speed boost and 30% more graphic muscle than what we've got now. Basically, this thing could melt benchmarks. Globally, it's Snapdragon all the way for the Ultra. But for the S26 and S26 Plus, Samsung's quietly making a comeback with its own Exynos 2600, especially in Europe and Asia. Built on Samsung's 2 nanometers tech, it promises 12% more power, 25% better efficiency, and less heat. And here's where it gets bold. Rumors say Samsung's finally ready to kill off the S Pen silo. Yeah, that iconic slot might be going away, but it's not a loss. Why? Because ditching it opens up internal space for a larger battery, possibly a game-changing silicon carbon 7000 MLI cell. That's next level, especially if you've ever cursed your phone dying at 6 p.m. And there's more. Camera talk is heating up. A massive 324 MP sensor might replace the S25's 200 MP lens. And get this, some leaks suggest the telephoto cam will also jump to 200 MP, turning this phone into a legit DSLR rival. Oh, and variable aperture is coming, which could mean no more need for that secondary telelens at all. Meanwhile, concept renders show the S26 Ultra pushing screen real estate to the max. Think a 7-inch display with bezels so thin, they basically vanish. Punch hole cam's still there, but it's shrinking. Don't count on under display just yet. Samsung's testing it, but insiders say it's not selfie ready. But here's the craziest leak of all. Samsung might be developing a replaceable lens system, not your typical clip-on junk. This would be built-in snap-on lenses with electronic detection and real-time aperture control. Like a mini mirrorless camera. Wild, right? It's not confirmed, but it's in their R&D pipeline. And considering Samsung already makes killer optics for Android phones, if anyone can pull this off, it's them. Now let's talk strategy. Samsung lost around $400 million by skipping Exynos chips in the S25 Ultra. Ouch. So the S26 lineup is bringing them back, but not in the Ultra. That beast stays Snapdragon only in key markets like the US, China, and Canada. Early tests show Qualcomm's chip still beats Exynos in raw performance. Makes sense. And competition? Oh, it's brutal. Apple's iPhone 17 dropped September 2025, and Samsung's racing to one-up it. Foldables are also due for an update, so yeah, the whole smartphone war is about to explode. But Samsung still leads global sales, holding off Apple at 19% market share. And with the S26 Ultra packing, possibly the biggest battery in flagship history, a sensor the size of your laptop webcam, and a display that nearly bleeds off the edges, Samsung might just be cooking up their most ambitious phone ever. Let me know in the comments, what feature are you most hyped for? The 7000 MAUI battery, the 324 MP camera, or the return of Exynos? Or are you still holding out for that under display cam? Stay tuned, this is just the beginning.